Welcome to Ted's Outdoors. Today I just wanted to talk about the sheath that I kind of customized with a lot of paracord and some other things. So I just want to give you guys a close up on the sheath and for BK2, Becker BK2. I just customized it because I was bored and it was raining out so I just wanted to have fun with it and I liked how it turned out so I'll give you guys a close up on this. So this sheath is just set up for kind of like a scout carry with these two paracord belt loops. And this one is a little bit shorter than this one so that it gets to handle up in the air a little bit like that. And that's a cobra stitch right there. And then I have, those are just you know, braided through the pancake sheath. This, this sheath is made by Red Rhino Customs at redrhinocustoms.com. And then I have this paracord braid right here, which is kind of cool. I have my fire steel. This is just a Coglins fire steel that costs like five dollars something like that and then on this back I have this cinching down piece with this paracord and that means that I can take the tin out but right now I can't I mean it's not it can jiggle around but it's not gonna come out there even if I try and pry on it it's not gonna come out and so I pull that back like that pull that up and that tin can come out and I can pull it down if I want to if I'm not gonna have the tin in there and this is just a redundancy of tinder. I just have a little bit of birch bark in here. I mean, there's not much point on having this in on the sheath, but you know, I kind of like it. I like how it looks and everything. And so I just braided that right around here, like that, and just put a cobra stitch in it and put two pieces right there. You know, really straightforward. I was just trying to have some fun with it. I really liked how it turned out. And so this sheath has tons of paracord on here. I mean, each one of these is probably around four to five feet. So that's about 10 feet right there. And then this right here. Um, now I don't know how much that is. That could be 10 or it could be 20 feet. And then you have some more right here. And so it has quite a bit of paracord. And I'm when I need paracord, I'm not gonna jump to taking off these belt loops because for one, it makes so I have to carry the sheath unless I put just a small loop of paracord through there. But it also takes a lot of time to undo one of these braids. But this right here will take literally about 30 seconds to get all of this paracord on here. And it is, a, it is extremely easy to put back on. And so it's easy to take off, easy to put back on, it takes about no time. And you can see it all right there. So I thought it was really cool. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um... This BK2 was given to me, or I won it, technically, and so I just wanted a good sheath for it, and so I got a Kydex sheath by Red Rhino Customs, and then I just wanted to put some paracord on it. This, you know, this isn't something I carry every day or all the time. I just thought it would be kind of cool. Every once in a while when I do carry it, I would like to just have a cool looking sheath, you know. So these are black, this is black paracord right here for the belt loops. Um, and then you got coyote brown right here and then od green sheath i think it all looks really good with the black handle of the knife and the black and silver blade yeah so i just wanted to share that quickly with you guys so you know thank you all for watching just something fun i thought i might do it's not necessarily a need to have all this stuff stuff on here and if it all comes off for any reason it's not that big a deal it's all redundancies anyway i thought it was kind of cool i think it looks cool and feels cool carrying it carrying it and yeah so thank you all for watching